Hey, what's up everybody? This is Victory uh, with my first ever MTG Magic the Gathering Arena video. Uh, Magic the Gathering Arena just hit mobile devices, which puts it in my wheelhouse. And I actually have been playing Magic for uh, a long time since Zendikar, original Zendikar block, uh, off and on. And I'm not very good at it, <clears throat> but it is a much better game in many respects uh, than almost any mobile game that you can think of. Uh, any gacha that I've ever played, it's it's just, it's on a totally different level. Uh, so I am going to start making videos about this. Uh, for those of you who are used to me releasing Princess Connect videos, I am very sorry, but uh, I did actually stop playing Princess Connect after about the first month or so. I just realized, you know, I wasn't having any fun. Um, and so why spend 30 to, minutes to an hour every day grinding on something that is not enjoyable if... Um, if it's not actively, I don't know, making you money or something like that's kind of my philosophy is something everything you do should make you money or give you enjoyment or, you know, do something for you. And it just wasn't. Um, so my apologies. Uh, I am going to be doing arena videos going forward. Um, so this is the first one. And tonight what we're going to do is Friday Night Magic at Home, which is the popper historic format here. Um, I'm going to show you the deck that I've made. It is basically just a gruel stompy deck, and um, I did quite a few Kaldheim drafts on PC for MTG Arena, uh, so I have a lot of Kaldheim commons, and that's basically what this deck is, is some stuff from the starter decks, some stuff from Kaldheim drafts, and Land of War Elves uh, from my gruel aggro historic deck. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is just uh, some good cheap removal spells, Land of War Elves, um, a decent curve, and then I have a little bit of synergy with those removal spells in the Spell Leader Wolverine, the Spell Gorger Weird, then up here at the top end, of course, Ice Hide Troll, which is a common uh, with my Snow Mana Base. He becomes very difficult to remove since he can make himself indestructible for two snow mana. Then Tuscary Firewalker and Serol's Packmate both can draw me cards, uh, which kind of gives me this deck a grindy top end where you can you can come out in a long game unless they just go way over the top of you. Um, so I've already got my two wins for the day, but um, just wanted to showcase the deck for my first video here. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing more MPG Arena content going forward. Hope to do it once or twice a week as time allows. Um, so enjoy, here's the first match. Okay. So on the, pl on the play, I wouldn't like this so much, but on the draw, this is fine. I'm okay with having kind of this reactive hand. I have a lot of two drops I can draw into. Um, as well as Sorrel's Packmate has the Fertel that I can draw into. I've got my mana taken care of, but I can uh, just hold up a Frostbite and then get into it with one of my three drops on turn three at the very latest. And like I said, this deck, kind of a grindy top end, so it's okay if I don't use all my mana every turn. But it looks like I am going to be getting some targets for Frostbite here. Let's see if he plays something better than the brush wag. Sure. Sure. Yeah, we'll take the one damage, you know. Um, the thing that... Okay. Compelling. That's, that has to be... Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save... I think I'm going to save my second frostbite for when he inevitably plays the pack mage. I'm just going to let him think I'm on mono right here. And what I'm going to do is get my third land out. I'm going to get my third land out, uh, which will allow me to frostbite for three, which will kill that pack mate. I'm 95% I'm sure it's pack mate. Yep. Great card. Not surprised that we're playing it here. Uh, so, this is where things go a little bit I said I was going to frostbite it, but maybe I want to see if he blocks first. Yes. Oh, he fell for it. He fell for it. He? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows who's on the other end? It's a... Uh, there 
There we go. Now we got the two for one. That's okay. It was worth. It was worth it. I didn't. I did not want to have to deal with a four there. Frostbite is about as high as my uh, removal goes. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come in with the Rimrock Knight. And what I think we wanna do, that's fine. Yeah. What I think we wanna do here is we wanna just go ahead. We wanna go ahead with the Bell Gorger here. And then we can come in and give it the adventure. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah, we want to come in with Spellbroker Weird and we're going to use Boulder Brush on it just to make it like a heftier clock. So we're going we're gonna to start, start our aggro plan on turn 5 here. Four mana. I want to get the Firewalker out. At this, at this point in the game, you know, they have to kind of choose which of these guys they want to take care of. They're, they seem to be mono green, which tells me they're not going to have an easy time taking care of them. Uh, and both of these guys are just like great threats to keep on the board. Obviously, I haven't ever played Historic Popper before, so I don't know the meta. But um, I felt like this was a good deck for Friday Night Magic because, like I said, you know, you have kind of a, you can be fast if you start off with like an Elves or whatever. <laughs> ah, there's, that's how they deal with it. That's okay. Let's see. Top card of the library, it's a land card. Do I want to kill... I think this is my only chance to kill the Raiders card. Yeah. Yes. One more instant of sorcery. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do tonight, the format will be I will just play three matches with this and see how it goes. Uh, this one I think may be a loss because Warcrier Blessing is an awesome card. Uh, but, you know, let's have a chance. Yeah, we don't really have a chance. <laughs> uh, not with these kind of lands. I know my deck, and if he's mono green, he probably has like ravenous lindworm, so it's just a matter of time. Okay, we'll take that. One thing I will say about Popper, uh, I did play some Popper on Magic Online, uh, which is a much different format than Arena's Popper, uh, where you have like, you know, you have all these degenerate combo decks like Walls, you have Tron. You've got Delver decks running around that are actually really good. Um, and I really like that Popper format, except that I found it very frustrating that the best decks in the format kind of revolved around invalidating the combat step. At least when I was playing, uh, you know, your Tron decks and your Walls decks both were just really focused on making your combat not matter. Uh, and I found that to be a pretty frustrating game state. Uh, I myself played Blue Black Delver in that proper format. And I really liked that. I just, um, yeah, I had a lot of trouble, I guess, getting used to dealing with the unfair decks. In the okay, so in Call Time Limited, one of the best things you can do is just 
run out of Pac-Man, especially if you can, you know, like, if you can play a one drop and then you can curtail your pack mate and then you can like play your pack mate and draw another one drop and play that that's awesome and you know you don't even need the first one drop just as long as you can reasonably curve out with pack mate it's just sick. Um, a 3-3 three, three on turn three that draws your card just nice. and i can hold up shock man here i'm not going to shock the sanitarium skeleton but i can hold up shock man here and just um invalidate anything he plays oh nice nice sacrifice deck but what i'm hoping is that he does not play anything worth shocking so that on my next turn i can bring out i can run out spell border weird and start pumping it up with my um spells as he plays out different creatures nice nice yes I love it. Up a mana, down a card. Okay. Yeah, and since he used the removal on that, he now doesn't have anything left for this. Or, you know, maybe he does. He's mono black, so he has a bunch of removal left. And that's why I'm gonna kind of try to bait it out with the Spell Gorger Weird, which is a great threat, but the real sauce here is I wanna get this guy out once he's out of removal and start drawing cards with the boast ability. That can get really nasty if it goes on. Okay, call the builder. Okay, so here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let that happen. And I, if he has one village rights, I bet he has more than one. I'm gonna wait until he kind of runs out of. I'm gonna wait until he runs out of mana and when he goes down to not having any mana open i'm gonna scorching dragon fire that cauldron familiar and just take care of that problem i don't know how much food he can generate in his deck but okay there we go let's rumble let's go block me okay sure Now, the minute he's tapped out, dragon fire the call. Okay. There it is. Boom. Boom, baby. Bye bye. The cheek. No recursion for you, sir. That's a good card. I kind of see where he's going with this deck, but um, yeah. So we're gonna we're going to not play a land so that we can do this. And if it is a land, oh, wonderful. Okay. No, I don't think I want to frostbite anything. <laughs> So that's, that's annoying, and eventually it will be a problem. I think we can end the game before it's too much of a problem. Okay, sure. Yeah, he's, he's gonna just do lots of blocks with the sanitarium skeleton. But it's kind of a catch-22 because... Oh, nice. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, Ice Hide Troll is kind of our another one of our win cons here. There's two blockers. Unless he has a minus minus spell that gets around the end of the uh, Ice Hide Troll just can't be stopped. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And we come through. Boom. Like this. We don't need to play Ice Head Troll games. But we can. Yeah. If we need to. The other thing you can do, uh, and I was on the business end of this, and was on the graphs, is uh, when you're attacking with Ice Head Troll, once it's tapped, you can just 
pump the heck out of it and do a ton of damage if you have a snow mana base uh, to support it. Okay, fine, I guess. Sure. Okay. doing lots of things, but I don't find the things that he's doing to be very profitable. Okay, especially because if he blocks, if he, like, so let's say he gang blocks the firewalker, he just shock or frostbite one of the things that he blocks. So, in we go. Two combat. Well. There we go. Okay. I'm not going to attack the Manamore Elves because that's just silly, but yeah, we're going to come in with these guys. And now that the troll is going in, and I don't really have... I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do my cards. Okay. okay. Now that the troll is going in, let's see if he blocks. Who's he going to block? Who's he going to block? Who's he going to block? Ah, yeah, see. Okay, fine. Now, I'm going to shot cadaver in him, just in case he's got something. Okay. And then the other thing I'm going to do is, okay, so I'm going to see if that's fine. This is a little extra damage, and now I still have mana to do it again he tries to remove the troll on my turn. Going in. Okay. Push my land. Yeah. So let's see if he can pull it out. But it's kind of interesting to me that he's on four lands. I feel like he must have cut his land base down by a lot. I'm probably running way too many lands. I think I just let the auto land picker put 24 in here, and that's <laughs> that's obviously incorrect for a deck that ends at four on the curve. I could have put some six in there. Okay, there we go. All right, one and one. So you get to see the power of Tuscary Firewalker there. Let's see what uh, what fate holds for us in the last match. Last match. Will this deck be a I am not going to count the two wins in a row I got when I first started playing. Okay, so we do not have red mana, but we do have elves into packmate, into troll. Gosh. Oof. That's a curve. Okay, we're going to do that. Boom, for damage. This elf is gonna get boots on the ground. He's gonna be swinging. <coughs> and it is blue, black. Blue, black control deck. Probably. I mean, maybe it's blue, black aggro. But it's not. Right, we're just gonna send it on. Go, man. Just go. Is that an uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell with those. Alright, got our red source. So, I think we just want to. Four mana. I think we want to attack with the elf. There we go. Boom. Throw out the pack. And then with the frostbite, they. Wait, are Huh. Esper? Esper. Interesting. I I wanna see this.
Okay. So. Back. We got Wither Crowned on our Swirls Pack Mate. That is okay, because now we got the Troll. And they don't have a Wither Crown, I hope. I really hope they play a creature at some point because I would really like to use some of this removal that I have. Unfortunately, none of it goes to the face. Another tap. He's in four colors. Four color control. What? What a world. That's awesome. Okay. Well, we're coming in. Let's go. Let's jam. And one, two, three, four, five. I am going to just go ahead and activate it once. And, and that way I want to be able to activate it again during the opponent's turn in case they have a kill spell. But it seems like they probably be doing enchantments. Both cards they played so far have been enchantments, so they may be on some sort of enchantress build. But I'm not sure what the incentives for that would be in Popper, except maybe all that glitters? Yeah, I don't remember if all, all that glitters might be a common. But I'm not really sure what else would be their payoff for running just a bunch of enchantments. Maybe there's some constellation cards that I'm not aware of in Popper. Okay, sure. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Is he going to counter? I I just want to get the clock going because I don't know what our opponent is planning, but probably pretty big. If they have to be in four colors and use all these tap lands to do it, goodness. Another omen of the sea. Yeah, they gotta be on some kind of enchantment combo synergy deck. Just don't know what they would be up to. Sure, draw some cards. Take some damage. It's all good. Boom. Also trying to think what... I think Meyer's Grasp is a common. That could get around Eyesight Troll. That would be unfortunate. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, we could attack with the elves and then dragon fire the wardens. I don't know if I want to spend two cards to get rid of his one, but that is pretty bad for our beatdown plan. So let's just let's just go in. Let's see what happens here. Two attacks. I mean, if I were really being smart, I could just only attack the troll, let him block, and then pump the heck out of the troll. But I want to have my cake and eat it too. I want him to not block the troll so that I can keep blowing up stuff with the troll. He's got to know that I'm holding the troll. He hasn't played a creature all game. Seven, so I want to do this. Boom. This. Yeah, Firewalker. This way I really don't want to lose my turn. Okay, here we go. This is it, man. This is 
This is the last turn. Show me what you got. Why are you playing all these enchantments? Okay. Yeah. Here comes the troll. Let's rock and roll. I'm making tokens. Okay. Yes. Next. Block. 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 Mm -hmm. the deck in a grindy matchup and here we are with four enchantments on the field and a four color control deck so this is it the pinnacle of popper entertainment right here you guys are seeing this guy live the four color green and all of these omens they all crack to scry too don't they? Yeah. that's pretty cool I get the feeling this is somebody who, uh, you know, how I drafted a lot of Kaldheim. This guy probably drafted a lot of... A lot of Theros beyond it. Wait, he didn't play... He had the mana, but he didn't play the... That's strange. I would absolutely have played that 4-drop. Were I in his position. No? See what happens. Here we go. We're gonna boast. Nice. Nice. We could have it right here. Let's see how it blocks. No, you know what? You know what? Have an instant speed removal for the add it. That's unfortunate. I think we're gonna lose the Firewalker right here. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, this is gonna be nice. I mean, you gotta, no. If he doesn't block the troll, he's gonna take six, eight damage. He doesn't know about that. No, he does know that. There's no reason for me to play the adventure here. I can just play it after combat, so. Okay. Oh. And then we do and I'm just gonna let him wonder about what that card is. No need no need to let him know that we have no cards in hand. I mean he probably does it tonight, but maybe not. Every land played so far <laughs> has been a tap land. <laughs> wow. This is an awesome deck. I really like I really like this person's deck. Whoever they are, who is this person? Liquid Steel? Good deck. I like your deck. Um, I may even add you as a buddy. Plus. No, that's okay. Is there a way to yeah. Okay, so there's, okay, I see now why he didn't play the Wardens, because he wanted to be able to double block something. So that's cool. Okay. What else, does, what else could they possibly have in hand? And can I... Darn it. I want to friend request this person. Oh, well. Okay, but I think... Oh, no. No. <laughs> Oh, not the Wither Crown. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It's fine. I have 20 life. I can, uh, I can afford to... Just 
that on and then continue pumping. You are not gonna win. Okay, yeah, so there's the land. I was gonna Right? Yeah. Because I want him to. I don't care if he blocks the knight, because if he blocks the knight, he can't block the troll or the fireball. So that's what we're going for. Okay, and activate that. Now we're cooking, baby. Double strike. Deal with it. Gotta block the knife here, right? Wait, I do have... Yes, I do have three of these packs. Yeah. Really glad I included this card. I haven't even got to play it yet in a match. But, uh, this is gonna be where Spell Eater shines. Okay. So, okay, so, uh, six lands. I want to play the spell eater, so um, now he's already used he's already used an enchantment on the He's already used an enchantment on Ice Eye Troll, so it doesn't matter to me anymore. So, he's two cards. so it's okay. I don't need to hold up mana like it just wasn't anymore and put a crown on it because you know it's not that great of a creature. There's every single one. Oh my gosh. No. Five. Ah, five, eight first strike. And he's just going to sit there with it. You know he's just going to sit there with it. And drag it out. No, I will not sacrifice my troll. I will win the moral victory here. We're going in. We're going in, boys. All of you. And oh. machine. Tell scary firewalker. Who you gonna block? Show me the blocks. Now at this point, he can see that I have one too. I can make my troll an eight an eight three indestructible. So unfortunately for this uh this spell gorger weird, yeah, he had he had to do that. I'm still gonna activate it once. Wait, no. Hold on. Yeah, I think I just don't even play the spell word to weird because I wanna get rid of that. I wanna get rid of this Nexus Warden. Really bad. I'm still putting it one life and no Nexus Warden. If I just pump, 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 pump. Yeah. Base power zero. How about that? From the grave. Okay, and then we'll play our land. And that's gonna be that. Sad to see the spell board weird go, but I don't have anything to pump it with, so it's not that big a deal. Okay. So there you go. I I think this is it. I don't know of any um, board wipes at common. But darned if he's not gonna find one with his spies. So while we're wrapping up here, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this silly little video about playing Friday Night Magic at home. Uh, MTG Arena is great. If you haven't ever tried Magic the Gathering, it is the best way I've ever seen to learn the game. Uh, so try it out. Uh, it's available on mobile, Android, iOS. You can get it on your PC. Um, I prefer to play on mobile just because it's really convenient and I can actually record my screen. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more like it, leave a like, leave a comment subscribe. This is Victory signing out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>